All right, today we're doing a full VOD breakdown where we go round by round like a team VOD session and break down everything that's going on in the map. We're looking specifically at the defenses on a fortress search that we had versus New York all the way back in Major 4. So let's get right into it. So we're starting with round one here. As you can see, we're on defense. We're basically playing a standard one open, one closed, and a two top maps setup. And as you can see here from the New York side, Paco is going to be making a play where he basically is sitting uh, just waiting for Ant to try and make a play you know and was really known for making plays jumping up top single or jumping up top doubles or even through bottom art uh, so Paco is kind of just playing safe trying to catch us off guard here and from this you'll see that they're gonna just try and work the a site like normal um, on our side what we have is ant he's gonna be working with an AR uh, open here and Kyler is gonna be working kind of with him on, on his contact uh, basically playing in this corner and we're gonna be all waiting on Dan's contact uh, top map so Dan is working this angle here so he's looking towards uh through this crack to make sure that anyone uh, that new york that crosses towards the bomb site is seen and we have that info and from this brandon is going to be uh top maps and what he's going to be doing is looking uh top dubs and top p1 he's basically shifting back and forth making sure that he's covering uh, those areas for our team and making sure that no one is flanking us in that sense so as you can see here paco uh, doesn't see anything obviously because we're not activating towards that area of the map uh, and from this kiz and skies are going to be working towards the bomb site together you usually have two guys working uh this bomb site so kiz is going to make his way over to the bomb and you'll see from this that dan is going to see him uh you see dan puts even shots towards this area and he sees that chrisman has crossed he gets shots down and now he can relay that info to both kyler and ant and why this is so important is because this is round one round one means no trophies and like i said in that double nading video if you can coordinate with the teammate and actually double nade towards that bomb site especially around one where we know the guy is on bomb this should be a free kill for us and that's exactly what happens so kiz guts on bomb he doesn't end up planning right away uh, and as you can see shotzi is already throwing his nade and meanwhile kyler is throwing his nade as well you can't even see it here he's uh, not in the picture, uh, but you see the nades get thrown, Kyler gets a first blood, and that for us is a really, really good first blood with the bomb down. So from this, bomb is not planted, obviously. We know bomb is down. Free first blood from our angle. And now what we can do is basically back up and just play containment. You know, we can just make sure uh, once again that we have this cross and make sure that no one uh, gets towards that bomb site. And what we're doing here actually uh, from this backside is making sure that we have everything P1 top doubles and top single contained. We don't want them making plays on the other side of the map uh, and basically flanking us that way uh, to try and you know even the playing field, get that equalizer for free uh, by making an activation towards the other side of the map. So what we're doing is containing that uh, while also having this side door contained uh, with Shotzi. So since we know that only two usually work the bomb site, we're not expecting that solo guy to go back towards that bomb site right away. Uh, so Skies actually makes his way towards this uh, area without being seen from the cross. So Dan's gonna end up going back towards p5 and watching this cross again uh, but skies is already going to be crossed uh, so unfortunately for us we're not expecting him to cross right away because it is him alone there and even though skies does cross i believe ant does hear him right there uh, so that's why he backs off a little bit so he's going to call out to kyler basically to, to help him out here and he plays the stairs make sure that he's playing a little bit safe you know not challenging or anything to make sure that we remain uh, with the man advantage situation so he's actually going to call to brandon to work towards this open area teeth shot this with him and, and from this they're going to be getting shots down uh, unfortunately they don't get the kill but uh, Kyler on the other side he's challenging as well so we have three people challenging the bomb site all at once so Kyler is actually going to be the one to get this kill and with 42 healthy even actually Chow's priest at the bottom stairs here uh, gets that kill probably an over Chow but you know that was for the three so just give him the ace at this point we know where the guy is and, and he does get this ace and we go up 1-0 so as you can see we're back on defense now we're up 2-0 and what we're going to do is make another play to double nade so I believe it's actually a triple nade even so I believe number six number seven and even number five here all nade the back stairs and what you're going to see here is actually probably the most unfortunate thing for us you saw both of those nades hit the top and bounce past these new york players uh, i believe you're actually going to see the next one too yes as you see right there another nade does fly past them so we do make the good call to actually triple nade uh, these back stairs we probably would have gotten two kills before they even threw a trophy but unfortunately they just sail past them and don't even hurt them at all uh, so it's probably the worst case scenario for us uh, uh, so we don't get those kills we don't even get hit markers and from this uh, we're just going to be playing another containment where we're just playing a little bit more safer now uh, making sure that 
Uh, as you see here, number eight is watching this P1 in case they banged out P1 real quick. Unfortunately, in hindsight for us, we don't have anyone watching the cross at this very moment. So this is probably a mistake from our part where we expect someone to have the cross at the moment or expect someone to pick it up. Uh, but in this very specific instance, no one is watching it. So we have Ant Top Hay watching single, we have Kyler watching P1, we have Top Doubles on lock, Bottom Mart, but unfortunately we do not have the bomb cross because we don't expect them to be there. We didn't hit our nades. So unfortunately for us in this timing, we don't have the cross for this. So Kismet's gonna cross for free and look at this timing. Dan is now eventually going to pick it up. So he gets in this P5 spot where you can watch the cross through the cracks uh, enclosed. He doesn't see either number two or number three cross. So we're not even expecting the beam on bomb at this point. And so bomb goes down and this is like so confusing for our players because we're not even expecting them to be on bomb and they've already gotten it planted so they plant the bomb and from this we just have to make plays and look at this play by kismet he plants the bomb and now he's gonna hide at the stage here so unfortunately for us since we didn't see that both of these guys crossed we expect from this now because number five and number six can see the cross back we expect caesar to be the one who planted and is crossing back at this very moment and we expect it to only be one guy so from this you know we're gonna have ant push through and get towards the bomb site. You know he's expecting Caesar to be the only guy, so he can sort of you know finesse this stage and have that one-on-one -on -one gunfight with him. Little does he know, Kismet had stayed on the bomb site and is just playing this ratty stage corner, and it's going to get that free trade for him. So unfortunately for us, uh, that is the case where we do get first blooded. But fortunately on the other side of the map, as you'll see here, Priesta, like like I said in that first round, he's going to be trying to activate towards the other side of the map. So a big thing for this map was if you got that bomb planted towards A, you can try and make uh, you know some sneaky activation towards p1 you can try and catch someone that might be playing open or close or even you know this cannon area of the map off guard because they're going to be trying to turn and go towards that bomb site because it's been planted so so the bomb is some sort of distraction here for priesta so he's going to activate here p1 a little bit late and fortunately for us he doesn't hit his shot he sees kyler he sees dan he sees brandon but unfortunately for him he shoots probably the one guy that he wouldn't have killed uh, in this gunfight because of these boxes uh, so unfortunately for him he doesn't get that kill and with this we use some teamwork as you can see here Brandon and Kyler are both watching this angle and they get the free trade on Priesta here. Uh, so really unfortunate for New York by not getting that kill that really should have been a uh, free 2v4 for them. But fortunately for us, it's a 3v3 and we can work off this. And even Paco is gonna get in the mix here. He's gonna be jumping out top doubles trying to get a kill. Uh, but fortunately for us, we're playing this as a team and getting this trade for him. And now it's a 2v2. But unfortunately for us, this is just a really bad situation. Bomb down. 2v2 where they are just set up uh, back construction and, and back 18 here where it's just gonna be super, super hard for us to both get those kills and defuse the bomb. Uh, so this is just you know an easy setup for them. They can just play their angles and it's basically a lost cause for us and we go and lose this round. So it does end up going one to two. And moving on to round five, like I said before, Ant loved to make those quick plays at the beginning of the fortress. And what New York is gonna do here is one of the more common plays where you stun these doors open uh, to make sure that you have the line of sight on anyone that might be playing uh, quick onto the A site. And they actually do see Ant cross here. So you see the stun go out, Kiz is gonna be watching it. He does see Ant cross, he doesn't get the kill though. So this is good positioning by Ant to actually make it towards the other side. Uh, so he doesn't get shot. But New York does know that we have one guy on site. Uh, on the other side, for us, we do have Brandon, again, top maps, watching uh, both top dubs and P1. We have Kyler, who I believe was trying to do the top single jump, but does miss it, so he ended up going towards this cannon area again. And we have Dan watching the cross once again, uh, but from a closer angle from the closed stairs. And then on the other side, you have the two guys watching the cross, like I said, another guy back towards the 18. And you have Paco bottom art trying to again counter any fast push by Ant, but again, he's at the A site rather than bottom art this time. So. They know that this guy is pushed up onto the A site. He's throwing his tax as you saw Ant do there. And then he crosses uh, with a great timing because Kiz is trying to throw a nade at this point. He fucks up his nade and Ant makes his way towards his top single, top doubles area. And what New York is gonna call to do is sort of work P1 and, and this other side of the map now because they expect us to be pushed into this A site. And this is part of the reason why everyone hated to play Shotzi on this map because he can dip, dive, finesse uh, wherever he was trying to go. And like you see here, he's finessing top doubles and really just making it a super hard situation 
information for the New York side. And, and like you see here, Kiz is going to open these doors and even get chowed and, and killed by Shotzi. So a really good first blood by him. And towards P1 here, we do have our bases covered because we do have Kyler who's playing this cannon area. He sees number four. He gets help from Brandon. And now they're going to teamwork this and they both get kills. And now it's a 3v1. It's a free easy win for us really on the back of the play that ant was able to make you know just finessing his way into that a bomb site and then into top dubs trying to make a distraction there uh, but also some really good teamwork on the other side towards p1 uh, with those two guys but 3v1 here we should be able to make this an easy win for us we see him cross the bomb and now we're just going to teamwork this skies has pretty much no chance uh, with how we're playing this he does get that one kill on brandon uh, but it's just going to get traded out by our other two guys Okay, moving on to the last defense. As you can see here, New York kind of motioning towards a little P1 push. They're not really motioning towards that A site. And, and you see number one here, he's already pushed into this A1 corner. And number two with Bomb is still playing this P1 with him. So it looks like they're trying to do a sort of a delayed P1 push to try and catch anyone off guard on our side. But on our side, we're playing pretty aggro onto the A site once again. Instead of Ann, it's actually Kyler in this situation. And we still have the cross being watched uh, with Dan here. And Brandon is actually in a really prime position here he's going to be watching p1 from a different angle rather than being top maps like he was in the previous rounds he's going bottom maps and watching out this door it's actually a really nice angle if they do end up forcing their way out p1 uh, so he's gonna throw his tax here and unfortunately he doesn't hit anything so he actually does go back up to the top maps because he doesn't hit anything and he's not expecting a fast p1 push and because kyler is pushed up into this corner now we can sort of play a little bit safer towards this map side in case they do want to bang out p1 so kyler is left over here basically to play his one on the bomb site and since dan has his help on the cross now and is not going to watch that anymore and he's going to turn his eyes elsewhere just to help out another part of the map that's not covered and from this new york is starting to make some movements uh, but again we don't need to make any sort of movements ourselves because they're just playing you know around this middle area around p1 without showing themselves so they're basically just wasting time on the clock uh, without us needing to do anything we're basically just playing contained we're playing safe we know what is covered uh, as you can see you know and has even repositioned himself once again because we don't see anything but unfortunately for us we're kind of putting too much of our attention towards this a site and that's going to cost us to get picked here so brandon is going to get teamwork he's basically getting baited out by priest and kiss here for Paco to make a play top doubles and Paco gets the kill so if we had another guy watching p1 so Brandon could focus on his top dubs you know maybe this doesn't happen but we're just limiting ourselves too much towards this a site and since it's so quiet over there we should be expecting some sort of uh, pressure elsewhere and this just gets Brandon teamwork, but it's actually some really good repositioning out of our end, because now what we can do is since Dan is so close to this B side, he can sort of play safe onto this ledge and make sure that he has anyone that crosses into uh, the B side from the front gate, and he can have the cross help from Ant because Ant is watching this full cross and he can give that info to Dan if they actually are crossing. And you know, if they aren't crossing, if time does go by, he's in a good position to just help out Kyler back on site. So this is a really good complimentary position out of Ant here because he can basically help both of the other guys left alive on his team. And instead of wrapping back towards the A site, what New York does is go through P1. They're gonna take their chances to go and try and plant towards this B site. You, you almost never see it, but with the pick and with those guys already towards that P1, this is what they make the call to do. Really good positioning though out of Dan. He gets one kill on Priesta here. He's already tagged up Kismet and he does end up getting the kill on Skies here too. So really good micro positioning out of him. First to getting towards that B side, but also how how he was able to play that ledge and then able to head glitch these boxes to really make himself a hard gun fight alone on the B site. And now it's just a 3v2. We know Kismet is either trapped at this gate or P1, so Ann is gonna go instantly for that trade. He gets the kill on Kiz. Unfortunately, he gets traded out right away by Paco, but 2v1 now, we know Bomb is down because of Kismet. We know that Paco isn't one to take Bomb for their team, so we know Bomb is down gate and Dan is gonna get a free kill on him bottom maps, and we end up winning this round. We end up winning the entire map uh, to go up to on the series but that's going to be it for the VOD review thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this little in-depth analysis of the defenses for Fortress here let me know of any other maps or any other sides that you want me to cover and I'll gladly do it but thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time